Have you ever wondered if you might have a dissociative disorder? If so, take this quiz and watch for more info. Before we get started, we made this quiz to help you out. Choose whichever answer closely relates to you. Number one, do you experience frequent gaps in your memory? A, yes, all the time. B, yes, sometimes. C, once in a while. Or D, no, not frequently. Number two, do your surroundings seem at times two-dimensional? A, yes, it happens a lot. B, sometimes. C, no. Or D, no, what are you talking about? Number three, do you feel detached from yourself? A, yes, it's like I'm watching myself. B, sometimes. C, not really. Or D, never. If you answered A to most of them, there is some chance that you may be experiencing a dissociative disorder. In everyday language, many use the word dissociate, sometimes as a passing comment and occasionally as a joke. However, dissociation can point to unresolved trauma. Dissociating is more than zoning out. It's a coping mechanism against trauma. And in the long run, it affects your thoughts, emotional state, memories, and even your sense of identity. Although it is a helpful coping mechanism, frequent dissociative events make life difficult as they're disruptive to everyday life. So what are some types of dissociation? There are three types, dissociative identity disorder, dissociative amnesia, and depersonalization or derealization disorder. While each type has different symptoms, they share various traits, such as feeling detached. Detachment is a key sign of a dissociative disorder. You feel detached from others, your surroundings, and yourself. It's an easily recognizable trait for those who experience depersonalization or derealization. However, it takes self-awareness to realize that you are feeling distant from yourself. Take some time to check in and reconnect if you feel a bit removed from yourself. Another sign is a blurred sense of identity. Along with a feeling of detachment, you can also experience a sense of blurred identity which may feel like you've distanced yourself from your core values or like you don't recognize yourself. If you feel this way, do things that will help bolster your sense of self. Explore some things that you may have stopped doing. Do things authentically and always reach out to a therapist if you need help. The next sign is memory gaps. A common sign of dissociation is having memory gaps. Memory gaps are not due to external factors or medications, but occur without any easily recognizable trigger. Noticing memory gaps is difficult because you're unaware you missed anything. Hence, it's usually a worrisome sign to see. A great way to become more aware of potential memory gaps is by journaling. Keep a journal of everything you plan to do that day or week. The next sign is an inability to cope with stress. Dissociation is a response to stressful situations. A clear way to recognize dissociation early is by measuring your stress tolerance. If you notice that stress affects you more than usual, your brain may resort to dissociation to cope. Clear signs of an inability to cope with stress include irritability, hypersensitivity, and persistent fatigue. If you are overwhelmed with stress, take a step back and do less. It's easy to get overwhelmed by pressing tasks, but sometimes in order to do more, it's best to start small. If doing less does not seem like an option, do something that helps you release stress, like exercising, dancing, or painting. The fifth sign on this list is unreal surroundings. Another characteristic of dissociation is a sense of unrealness. Surroundings can feel like props on a set or a part of a 2D painting. This symptom is typical in cases of derealization. Derealization is a type of dissociative disorder itself, but the symptoms of derealization can also persist in other types of dissociative disorders. To be classified as a symptom of dissociative disorder, the unrealness of your surroundings must not be caused by external factors. If you notice frequent moments of derealization, reach out to a therapist for help and guidance. Dissociative disorders can also be comorbid or occur at the same time as other mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and PTSD. If you notice any of the signs discussed in this video and want help, reach out to a therapist who can guide you through cognitive behavioral therapy or talk therapy and offer an open and safe space for you to talk. Have you experienced any of these symptoms? Let us know in the comments and share this video with others who might benefit.
The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time, friends, take care and thanks for watching.